Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Orange Pi PC. Now this is something I picked up a long time ago. I'm way behind on some of my videos. Um, but I wanted to show this one off because it's been sat there for a while and I've just recently sorted out the OS images for the board. Now the Orange Pi PC is a sort of like a Raspberry Pi, I guess. It's one of these kind of development boards. It's like a mini computer. So it's got uh, an H3 all winner uh, CPU, it's Cortex A7 quad core CPU. It's got one gig of RAM on here, I believe. Let's just double check. Yeah, it's got one gig of RAM. Um, you can have up to 64 gig on the SD card, which is on the bottom there. And uh, it's also got sort of an ethernet there. It's got three USB ports and a USB on the go, which is this one over here. So you don't power it with the micro USB. You power it through a, uh, a DC jack. So this micro USB is USB on the go. We've got a 3.5 millimeter jack just here. Now this can kick out uh, video and audio, so it can give you your S video, I believe. Um, but you can also get uh, your audio out of your HDMI, which is where you're gonna get most of your display options from, really. Uh, I'm gonna be using this little display here that I, I picked up for my Raspberry Pi, so I'll be hooking it into HDMI. Now, as with most of these little boards, you've got a 40 pin GPIO here, very similar to the Raspberry Pi. But this board has a camera connector as well, just like the Raspberry Pi does these days. And it has an IR blaster on here too. So it is actually able to control other devices, which is nice. Now it doesn't have Wi-Fi on board. Um, and I don't think we're gonna use the Wi-Fi in this case, uh, a little dongle or anything like that, but it does have the ethernet jack and I don't have any ethernet near me at the moment, so I won't be using one. But we are gonna boot it up for the first time. I've got a keyboard and mouse handy. And so we're gonna run the Raspbian image that Orange Pi make available on their website, which is orangepie.org. And we're also gonna have a look at an Android uh, image that I picked up too, which is also available on their website. And we're gonna be able to see it on this screen, hopefully. So let me just get it all plugged in and then we'll get started. Right, so I've got it all hooked up. I've got a keyboard on my lap and I've got a mouse just over here. And I'm now gonna plug these in for the first time. So first off, we'll start with the display. And then we're gonna start off with start off, finish with plugging in our Orange Pi. Now this is the first time I've ever booted it, so I don't know what I'm gonna be greeted with or whether it's gonna work with the display at all, we'll see. So we've got a red light on the board. Nothing appears on the screen so far. Let's press a few buttons and see if we can change the mode. So it's in HDMI mode. I'm not detecting anything yet. We'll give it a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. Right, I'm gonna try the Android version now and see if we'll, ah, there we go. We've got something. I don't think that Raspberry version is working, so I'll have to find something else and see if that works. So we've got something on the screen at least, which is promising. Okay, so we're back. I've got a couple of other images that I'm playing with at the moment. So these, this one is a, an Android image. Um, it's a modified version of the image that's available on the Orange Pi uh, website. But again, I don't know if it's gonna work. It doesn't seem to work. Uh, the power adapter that I've got for the Orange Pi, I've checked that because apparently that's one of the problems if you don't get anything happening. I've checked that the, the power adapter is able to kick out enough uh, amperage, so it's got a two amp output. So that should be more than enough, but I'm still not seeing anything, unfortunately. So this is getting a little bit tiresome. I have one more image to try, and if that doesn't work, then I think I might give up for a little while uh, and try something else. So I'm gonna leave this for a couple of minutes, and if nothing happens, then, well, uh, I will switch over to the uh, other image that I've got, which I think is a Ubuntu image. Right, we're trying out the Raspbian, or no, actually, it's a, I think it's a Ubuntu image now. So I'm hoping that we'll get something here. Well, I'm not getting anything on the AV channel, so let's try and plug the HDMI in. Be careful not to touch any components on the board. All right, it's time to switch some power supplies around and see if that makes any difference. 
So again, I'm using a, a two amp power supply for the orange pie. And we've got a green light, so maybe that's promising. We have nothing on the display. But it appears to have detected something because it's not allowing me to do anything. There we go. No, absolutely nothing. Boy, this is frustrating. Well, I guess there's not much more I can do. I'll have to revisit this another time. I don't know if I'm going to upload this video. It's a little bit pointless. Right, <laughs> this is day two. So I've downloaded so many images so far and nothing seems to work with this monitor. Um, and I've also tried a couple of them out on a normal monitor and again, none of them have worked. And those were the official images, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I might maybe have some duff cables potentially, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try switching out the HDMI in a minute, but I've got two more images to try. So I'm just gonna plug this one in. This should be, I don't know how you say it, Lubuntu or Lubuntu. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got some kind of signal on the HDMI. We've got the screen detecting it, but nothing coming up for boot. It's not gonna be that easy. We're gonna to have to switch over to a monitor, I think, and maybe we'll have to plug it into ethernet and uh, try and SSH into the board to see if it's booted. But there are no real indicator lights on here. As far as I know, the red light means the boot process has started and then a green light will mean the boot process is finished. But we're not getting that, so I'm not sure. Time to troubleshoot. So after all of that, uh, it turns out I found out what the problem was. I was using this USB cable, USB to uh, barrel jack cable, and it goes into the DC connector on the Orange Pi. Now, I thought that would be fine. It's just a cable. And I was using quite a good power supply, uh, one of these little USB power supplies. This one's rated for uh, 2.1 amps uh, or 1.0. 0 0.05 for uh, two USBs connected at the same time because it's a two port one, but it wasn't giving me five volts at those two amps. It was giving me something like 4.6. Um, so I only realized that after getting my multimeter out and checking it. Again, with the other power supply that I've got, which is a two amp power supply with one USB, that's only giving me 4.6. So the problem was the power supply wasn't giving the board enough to, uh, to be able to regulate down to the 3.3 volts it needed. I think it probably needed something more like 4.7, 4.8 as a minimum. However, I've picked up another power supply, which is from, uh, it's, um, it's difficult to read that upside down, isn't it? Uh, it's Marantz. This is actually an audio company and it's my old audio recorder. Uh, and it actually has a two amp five volt power supply and I've measured it on my multimeter. In fact, we'll do that now while it's out. So I've pulled out the five volt rail using uh, a couple of jumpers. So if I just hold that to ground, we'll press that one to five volts. And so we're getting 5.2 on the five volt rail, which is perfect. It is now working. So we've got our login prompt. So this is it just having booted up. I apologize for not recording the boot up process because honestly, I've tried so much. This is day two. Uh, and I've been running this all day for about three hours, different images going through, and I just didn't expect it to work, but it has done. So let's log in. Should just be orange pie, orange pie, hopefully. No, oh, of course it's root. And then one, two, three, four, five. This is Ambien that I've put on here. Now I couldn't get any of the, the images that were on orange pie to work, unfortunately. Um, it turns out it actually was, um, what do I need to do here? Current password, one, two, three, four. New password, orange pie, orange pie. And uh, now it's doing something, I think. There we go, so it is loading up. Uh, right. I'm gonna cut this little bit out. This is just some annoying setup bits of the screen. Okay, so it's now gonna start uh, getting into the desktop environment. So I tried all these other um, uh, images from the Orange Pie site, none of them worked. 
and it turns out it might have been to do with the power supply. So I'm gonna have to go back and check again, but because it just started working, I thought, wow, this is fantastic. And look at that, it's using the screen perfectly. I even had trouble with Raspberry Pi using this screen. So I'm very, very pleased that this works. I should have a cursor. Excellent, everything's working fine. So my initial doubts about this board uh, can be put to rest, but it is a bit dodgy, the fact that it won't accept normal power supplies. So you've got your Raspberry Pis, they'll generally accept anything that's USB based and you can plug it in via the micro USB. But this one's very intolerant to voltages that drop slightly below five volts. So it's something to think about. And I think a lot of people will stumble at this point because it got through the booting process on various bits and it would stop somewhere uh, in one of the booting processes. So it meant that the, the board was drawing more and more power and so the voltage was dropping as that was happening. And so when it got through to a, a part perhaps where it was um, trying to write something to the SD card and trying to check the network interface at the same time, then it might have been that the voltage dropped too much and so it browned out. But unfortunately there's no brown out indicator on the board. Uh, like a light would have been really good, like an orange one maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I checked in the serial monitor, you've got these uh, these pins here, over here are the serial connections. So you can actually plug it into your computer using uh, just a USB to TTL interface thing and then um, take a look at those uh, signals coming out and it will just give you some system information. However, it'll only go so far, so once you get through part of the booting process, you'll stop seeing some of those uh, those messages, but you can log into it that way if you want to. Uh, and it also has SSH, so if you get through to a booting, or you get through booting, but it's not displaying on the screen, it may be that it's already booted and you just need to SH in into it and sort your screen out. But it turns out it actually works perfectly, so I'm very impressed. Uh, because this video has already gone on a very long time, I'm not gonna cover any more. <laughs> Uh, just because I'm tired of it now. So we're gonna put it away for a little while and then come back to it when I'm sorting out the specific application that I want it for. Anyway, I wanted to say that, that this board is really good. Um, a lot of the images probably do work. I think the, I'll put a link in the description where I picked up these images for the ambient, but I think it's the power supply. A lot of people say I'm, it won't boot or it, it goes to a blank screen, which is what I suffered and it just had a red light on and that's what they'd, they also identified, but the power supply seems to be a really big issue. So that's a bit of a difficult one to overcome if you don't have anything to hand. I did plug it into my bench power supply upstairs and it worked there. So I thought, wow, it's got to be the power supply. But I realized that, you know, my power adapters are two amp power supplies, so this should work. So that's when I started checking the voltage and realized they can deliver two amps, but not at five volts. So that was the issue anyway. Thanks a lot for watching this really, really rubbish video. <laughs> Just showing me trying and failing and then finding a solution, I guess. But this is gonna be a cool little board. Um, hopefully I'll also get the chip board as well. Hopefully that's in the post, I don't know. But I'm gonna try these out with some audio online streaming, some internet radio services, and we're gonna create ourselves an internet radio. Uh, currently use an FM radio, the signal here is terrible, but I have Wi-Fi on all the time, so I thought it'd be really interesting to try out. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.